Uh, and uh, these wheels are pretty badass. They are rotiform wheels that we ordered from fitmentindustries.com. Got them super fast. Fitment is the best company, I'm just saying, with heavy bias. Fitment is the shit. You need, oh, and right now on Fitment, we're running a stupid, crazy sale. Um, admittedly, we're overstocked. So if you need wheels and tires, I'm just saying, legit, go to fitment.com. And uh, we're doing like, some sets are 600 bucks off. It's crazy. You won't find a better deal. Just saying, y'all. Uh, where are we at? Fitment is not too expensive. Fitment is very reasonable. Let's see that Z. There's my Ford GT. Bassmaster left. I booked him a flight yesterday. He went back home. Ed's a really, really good guy. Um, we had Ed Bassmaster out vlogging with us doing pranks for the last few days. Yeah, I have an exhaust on the uh, GT3 RS. It has a Dundon crack pipe. Arguably, I thought it was the loudest car in the collection, but it's the second loudest. You can see, pretty, pretty sexy. It's basically like a straight pipe, the way that it sounds. I'll start the LaFerrari again, only because LaFerrari sounds so incredible. Fitment, yes, Fitment Industries, wheels and tires. Uh, we'll start the laugh again because it's, it's the best sounding car. I'm just gonna say, here we go. Doesn't that one sound great? Yeah, I know. I shouldn't rev it on cold starts, but it's just too fun. It's, and this is why I have $100,000 plus in repairs and maintenance every month. I need to do better with that. I will. Just blasted that GT. Yeah, I did. Anything behind that 765 LT, we always have to be careful when we start it because it will catch something on fire. Six feet flames come out of this thing. We're also building a Nissan GTR, 2000 horsepower GTR that's going to be ready in a few weeks. We told them six feet flames, minimal, it needs to uh, have, so I do not have a Hellcat, but I have the, I have the Resvani Hercules military six by six that has the 392 red eye motor in it, so that's as close as I'll get to that. I'm on my second motor after 1500 miles in the Resvani, so not super happy. Porsche, I have a GT3 RS, I have a Porsche 918, my 918 is my, bleh. Uh, my 918 is my favorite car of the entire collection. Can you hear the Rolls Royce? That thing's quiet. McLaren F1 is like my dream car. That's a $20 million car that I would, I would give everything to daily drive that. Um, so yeah, look at the back of this stupid thing. And by stupid, I mean I love it. We, uh, we retrofitted it to make it all work really exceptional. I love the limo. That thing's a vibe. Such a vibe. Those of you just joining, I own SD Wheel. I'm an owner at Fitment Industries, Custom Offsets. If you need wheels and tires, fitmentindustries.com or Custom Offsets for truck. I kid you not, even though I have- Now is the time to go get wheels and tires. Bugatti I already started too recently. The laugh was the first thing I started for those of you that have been on this the whole time. Um, what do you guys think of these wheels? I think they're pretty sexy. These are some three-piece Anovia wheels. This is a brand that we manufacture. This is my laser tag. I have a commercial laser tag system. That's my rack. El Gapo. Sarienzo. Let me know if you guys get, get all the license plates. Sarienzo, Bugatti, nothing special yet. The uh, McLaren Senna, huge Wang. Countach, the Wolf. That seems suiting, right? Uh, what else? Que mas? Que mas, amigos? Oh, the LaFerrari, we are trying to get Chow Baby Girl. Chow BBG. That's coming. Porsche GT3 RS, the cop lover. The 
um, wide body Pandem Corvette, she wide, Rolls Royce Mobbin. We got Rim God for that one. And then, yeah, Bugatti for a BMW. A GT startup. The GT is hard to start up because uh, it's stick shift and I don't have anywhere to prop up my phone back there. I probably could figure it out pretty easily, but it's not that loud. The AMG GT is sold. I sold my SLS AMG. I had a purple Mercedes 2012 SLS AMG with the gold wing doors and I just never drove it. It felt like kind of a little too feminine for me. I like loud, masculine, big wing cars. I speak Spanish. ¿Quieres hablar español, español conmigo? Si prefieres, también puedo hablar en español. Just kidding. I'd lose everybody if I just started speaking in Spanish. Uh, start the LaFerrari. You, I've started it twice already. I can't do that anymore. This is the second fastest. Can you believe this? This is the second fastest car. Not fastest, but highest horsepower. The Alpha. Um, the Audi twin turbo build. We bought this car wrecked. Um, we bought this uh, as part of like Fitment Industries custom offsets kind of build series that we did. And we paid $85,000 for this 2018 R8 with like 15,000 miles on it. Can you believe how cheap that thing was? We bought it about two years ago. We did a full build. It didn't even, it just had some front end damage, nothing, no frame, I don't think, or anything. And then so uh, I bought it off the company after they did that, wor that work. And then I did the twin turbo kit. So I'm like $135,000 invested into that car. And it's like a thousand horsepower V10 R8. That's in great shape. And it's a one of one off color. That's the only maritime blue color that they did in the RWS model that whole year. I sold my Tesla plaid. Someone just said, let me see that Tesla. I still have my Model X and I have another Model X in my, uh, I already started a bunch of crap, my guy. Someone's saying, start something if you're gonna go live. I can't just start a car every 30 seconds. People will be confused. We'll start something up next. What are we gonna start? There's only so many on the bottom. I, I, I'll do the GT, stand by. The Ford GT key is so ridiculous. It's like the, the most underwhelming key. Any of you that have like a 2000 to 2010 Ford, literally the same key. Those are my old uh, McLaren P1 wheels. We swapped them out for some badass wheels. Just dropped our YouTube video showing the new wheels. Ah, my box. Let me get the Ford GT key. We'll start that thing up. Boom. Ready for the underwhelming Ford GT key? Yeah, that's it. Nothing special, sorry. Start the limo, that's my guy right there. Here's the LaFerrari uh, charging device. A lot of these, uh, the hybrid ones. So I've got the Holy Trinity, that's the P1, the LaFerrari, and the Porsche 918. They're all three hybrid vehicles that have big ass charging systems. All of them have buggy hybrid systems. Um, let me see. The door, the classic. Look at the interior, it's very clean, very simple. I don't want to hit my Bugatti. Gotta watch out for that. You want to trigger someone, watch this. Boom. Hold on, let's try that again, ready? Woo! I live life dangerously. Stand by, let's start this up. I gotta get a good view here. All right, starting up the GT. I may need to look into that smoky. If there's any car to not do revs on a cold start, it's probably a Ford. I didn't, I don't know what this thing's shooting out, but it didn't smell right. That's what she said. Don't know, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like a Prius. Get out of here. The license plate is the best part. Yeah, Ford versus Ferrari, how about that? That was not deliberate. We just lined it up there. We also got a 488 GTB in the shop. That thing's been in and out of the shop forever. I have six four post there goes eight dollars in gas. Six of these lifts. Um, our the Hamilton Collection headquarters goes live um, in like two weeks, where I'll be able to house all twenty-eight cars. 